What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about helpful tips about Norway. To be even more specific, I found this Reddit discussion here where Norwegians are just offering up free tips, free advice for people like me, particularly me as an American. I think this is just fascinating. Great stuff. This discussion is basically asking, what are some common examples of knowledge that Norwegians happen to have effortlessly and can pass on to non-Norwegians like me? <laughs> For example, in a recent post, someone mentioned leaving the heating on when going for the winter holidays is just common sense among Norwegians. Leaving the heating on when going for winter holiday. Man, wouldn't that get expensive? Is there a good reason to leave your heating on when leaving for the holiday? Maybe the holiday isn't as long as I think it is, or maybe, I mean, there's probably good reason for this. Anyway, these are the kinds of tips. This is exactly what I need to learn, because these are the things I do not think of. Uh, so, yeah, this just sounded great to me. Uh, let us continue to the first comment on here. When going hiking, or just any decent distance on foot, it is better to carry a jacket you don't need than a jacket than need a jacket you don't have. Right, no matter the season or predicted weather. Yeah, Th see, that's good advice. That's a good tip, because that's just not something you think about, it's particularly living in America. Like, if you're gonna go hiking, or so you wouldn't probably go hiking too often in America, but if you do, you certainly wouldn't worry too much about needing a jacket or something in some special scenario. But in Norway, uh, it's better to just carry a jacket. And if you don't need it, great. But if you need it, if you need the jacket, then you have it, which is very smart. That's very smart. That's actually makes a lot of sense to me. Yes, always plan for the weather to change. Is that a thing in Norway? Is the weather kind of unpredictable even when you have a forecast kind of unpredictable and in a way where you can really get screwed if you don't have what you need so just bring the jacket i like that i like that um even if there are street or city lights on assume people in cars don't see you if you don't have something reflective on i mean that's just good advice no matter where you are honestly yeah i would always assume someone in a car doesn't see me. Yeah, that's just good, like, for everyone to do. Yeah. I really want to stop my car and thank those that wear reflectors. Yeah. Honestly, it does help. True. Uh, when there's a lot of snow on the roof, you, you need to clear it. Especially if milder weather is forecast. Oh, is, I mean, is that out of fear that the snow is gonna like fall off the roof and hurt something or hurt someone? That is definitely not a thought. I, I've never cleaned snow off my roof, ever. I never think about having to do that in my entire life. So that's, this is good. This is exactly what I mean. You need Norwegians living in Norway with this Norwegian experience to point out these tips. This is good stuff. Always have a spade in the car, like a, a shovel. Huh, really? <laughs> always have a spade in the car. What's going on? What's going on in Norway that you always need a shovel? Is there something I don't know? Just in case? Have it? Okay. Everyone has to know how to change a tire. I could see this being particularly useful in Norway. Just because if you happen... The, the geography of Norway is a lot more extreme. With mountains and fjords and the roads are built on all these amazing different geographical sort of uh, designs and landscapes. So if your car's tire pops, it's extra important that you can help yourself because of kind of the nature of Norway. That makes a lot of sense to me, actually. I mean, again, you should probably know how to change a tire no matter what, but particularly in Norway, for sure I could see that. When your car loses grip on the road, the instinct is to hit the brake and or turn the wheel. Don't. 
Okay, got some winter weather driving advice. That is good. Yeah, because then you'll just slide, right? You'll just start sliding. Uh, that actually, I, I'm kind of aware of that. Like, I've at least had a couple winters of driving experience in some of the states I've lived in. Don't wear rubber boots in small boats. Or maybe that was just my area where we were taught that. Don't wear rubber boots in small boats. I don't understand this one. I don't know. I don't know why you would wear rubber boots in the boat. I don't know why you wouldn't wear rubber boots. Why? Why not wear rubber boots? Why would that be bad? Huh? Is there more explanation? This is partially correct. The rule is that your rubber boots should be big enough to be easily kicked off your foot if you fall overboard and the boots start to fill with water. Oh, I would have never thought of that. Wow, I would have never thought of that. You, The boots are dangerous if you fall off the boat because it's a small boat. You could fall off, your boots fill with water, and you're drowning. So, okay. Wow, that's a... That's a fear I didn't even know that I needed to have. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Wool socks during winter. Cold feet makes cold weather unbearable. Also, the floor is hard to warm, even in modern houses. Oh, so just wool is the best material, basically, for the cold floors, for the cold outdoors in Norway. A lot of stuff about, like, surviving the Norwegian winter here. I like it. I like it. That's probably something people like me need the most advice about. Wool socks. Wool. So those, like, really keep you toasty, I'm guessing. <laughs> this. Uh, not only is it polite, it's the law and carries a heavy punishment if you... Wait, what? Wait, we were just talking about socks. We're just talking about wool socks, man. What are we talking about getting... Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I wear wool socks all year. Okay. Yeah. I mean, our American socks are pretty, pretty flimsy, pretty cheap and flimsy. So I'd have to go out and purchase some special wool socks just for Norway. I can tell. Um, don't cheap out on the winter shoes. I agree with that. Don't, don't go cheap on stuff that is going to make you comfortable. If it's something that's going to make your co you comfortable and warm, Spend the extra money, you're gonna thank yourself. I totally get that. Totally makes sense. Good advice. Good tip. Good tip. Um, Norwegian Mountain Code, known as Jelvetsreglen in Norwegian. Norwegian Mountain Code. Wow, what is this? The, the Norwegian Mountain Code is directed towards your safety. Let me make this a little bigger. So this is like if you're going uh, hiking in the mountains. Plan your trip and inform others about the route you've selected. Yeah, this is about safety while hiking in the mountains, basically. Wow. That's great. Wow. Respect the environment. Ensure you have knowledge and skills for the trip. Um... Inform others that you're going on the trip. That's a good one. That's one Americans do not think about. Because we're not used to hikes being extreme. There's really not much danger when going on a hike in America for the most part. So I, I wouldn't even have thought of that. Adapt routes according to ability. Pay attention to the weather. Bring your wool socks and your extra coat as well. I've learned that. Um, be prepared for bad weather. Bring necessary equipment. Wow, just a lot of stuff about safety. That's very good. Use a map and compass. Oh, geez. Americans would be useless with a map and compass. That would not help us. That... <laughs> Don't be ashamed to turn around. Right. Okay. Wow. The mountain code. That's actually extraordinarily helpful. Like, seriously, that's very helpful. That's cool. Okay. Uh, the adage, det fins ek dalig ver... Bear Dolig Claire, <laughs> I'm sure I butchered that, springs to mind because it's really true. I'd say F going out in the wind and rain, but it's mostly windy and rainy where I live, so it isn't an option. Maybe I can translate this um, to see what this old adage means. Let's do Norwegian 
to English, and let's see if it can translate it. There is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothes. Okay. Wow, that's like the bring your bring the extra coat advice. Like, you can survive any bad weather if you're prepared. Wow, this makes Norway sound like very extreme, by the way. But maybe that's good to like over prepare. It makes Norway sound like hardcore, like extreme. All this advice about make sure you got the extra equipment. Yeah. Invest in proper clothes, wool, good shoes, jacket, gloves. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people saying that, actually. That's honestly probably pretty serious advice. Be aware of store opening hours and all the holidays where everything closes early and for days. There's no corporal punishment of children. So be aware of store hours. That's a good one. Definitely. No corporal punishment of children. All right. I, I should hope so. There are restrictions on pharmaceuticals and alcohol. Okay. Walk against traffic on roads with no sidewalks. Okay, except in sharp bends where you'd switch size so you're visible early. Hmm, very specific advice. Very good, very good. Buy reflective attachments for your clothing and wear them. And for your dog. <laughs> the winter is long and full of darkness. Yeah, a lot of Americans, well, we don't really go walking too much at nighttime. But thankfully, a lot of people in America, when they go biking, have reflectors. More people, more people in America should have reflective stuff when they're walking. I think Americans don't do that as well as we could. So this is extra good for like, if you're going to go into Norway, where the wind, it's going to be darker and colder and just a bit more dangerous, uh, the reflective material is extra important. It's not... Like, so much a suggestion. You should do it. You should have it. Right. Um, babies can sleep alone in their prams parked outside of the house, even on a cold winter's day. Oh my gosh. I learned about this a while back. I could not believe this. This, this is one of the most crazy, outrageous, fascinating things I ever learned about Norway. It's, it's honestly fascinating. It's such a different culture. Babies can sleep in their carriages or, or car seats or stroller. Babies can sleep outside. Alone. Sleeping outside would be uh, wild enough in America. Um, alone would be unthinkable in America. Just unthinkable. People don't even believe me when I say this fact about Norway. The Americans don't even believe it. Yeah, so it's that different here. It's it's that different. Might be a trust thing, honestly. People will not speak to you in the city, but will greet you like an old friend if you bump into them in nature. Huh. Well, it is definitely different context, right? You're in the city. You're kind of trying to get where you need to go. It's a little less comfortable. But in nature... Yeah, if you just bump into each other in nature, acknowledging each other, that's nice. It's kind of a casual setting, and you're both, in theory, doing th uh, an activity that you enjoy. So you, have, you can bond over that. Okay, okay. Winter, wear several layers. We call it the three-layer system, rather than one thick type of sweater. Right, the layers. Very good, the layers. Dress in layers. Then you can take them off, put them on. Very smart. We do not think about stuff like that in America because there's you don't really have to think about that in America. So this is good. Don't clean the ice from your car windshield with warm water. It will freeze over and be even harder. <laughs> I have used warm water on my car. I am guilty of that. If you see a moose on the street by the house on a hiking trail... Move away in the same direction you came from. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. Moose are scary. I've never seen a moose in real life, but from the videos, they're so much bigger and scarier than I thought. They're enormous, right? Start singing or talking to yourself if you're at a distance so you don't surprise the animal. Okay, okay. Just start sprinting away, screaming and singing, right? 
Definitely. No, I get it. I, I, I do get it. Makes sense. Um, the further north you go, the larger difference between falling, rising tide. Don't leave things on the beach. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Don't talk to strangers, not because they'll kidnap you, but because it's annoying. <laughs> Very Norwegian. Very Norwegian thing to say. Don't talk to each other. It's, uh, because it's kind of annoying. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't walk on the ski tracks. Um, what is a ski track? Is that like a track, like, skiers leave after enough people have, like, gone down a particular skiing route? You leave a track? Like, everyone goes in the same track? I'm guessing? So don't walk on it? I, I don't know. Or So you don't get hit by a skier? Or maybe? Huh. Good winter tires are worth the money. Oh, yep. Spend the money on the good winter gear. Yep. Um, you'll regret buying a car without a tow hook. Okay. For towing. Don't brag about success or wealth. Okay. Uh, I like that. That's actually very respectable. Like the Norwegian culture. I, I like that. Don't be so braggy. Americans are very braggy. A little overconfident at times. They, we like to brag. And it is kind of a downfall. Don't touch any of the fixed electronics in your house. It'll reduce your insurance. Make friends with an electrician and plumber. Okay. These trades are expensive in Norway. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is good stuff. Um, do your research before buying a property. Offers are binding. If you have a foreign name, choose a more Norwegian-sounding name. Oh, if you're trying to get a job... You might want to choose a Norwegian name, but still expect to be ignored sometimes. Wow, I've never heard that one. I've heard that with like Asian cultures who move to America, taking on an American name. I've, but it, so it makes sense. I have like that kind of connection of like, okay, when you move to another country, sometimes people do take on more of a local sounding name. That makes sense. Um, no, Norway has two speeds. Slow and stopped. <laughs> Don't expect everything to be fast or efficient as in your home country. Work life is different here. Respect the time of those working and the services you're using. Okay, that's nice. I, I like a lot of these. I like it. A lot of about respect towards other people. Um, clothing, wool, layers, yep. Um, reflectors again. Yeah, some of the same stuff. Proper tires. Uh, beware of candles. <laughs> well, that's just kind of like, don't start fires wherever you are, honestly. Uh, snow is not always fun and safe. Yeah, it can be dangerous. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> feel like they're talking to Americans there. Bring extra clothing and food. Chocolate will do. Oh, in the mountains. Bring extra chocolate for the mountains. I love it. <laughs> Weather changes fast. Yep. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's further than you think, right? Okay. Take all your trash back home with you. Bring a bag. Oh, that's nice. Americans need to hear that one. Bring your trash back with you. Americans need to be told that. For sure. Um, stop for people crossing the pedestrian crossing. Yep. Um, don't put water in your car washer fluid. will freeze during winter. What? Can it? Can the windshield washer fluid freeze in a Norwegian winter? I've never had to think about that. That's crazy. You can be polite without having to talk to people. Walk on the right side of the sidewalk. If you need to stop anywhere, check that no one's behind you. Um, stand up if you see someone coming on the bus that seems to need your seat. Wow. This is very respectful stuff. If all Norwegians are this respectful, that's amazing. That's incredible. Wow. Very respectful. Don't slam doors. Man, this is like everything that Americans are known for. <laughs> Keep your voice down in public spaces. Oh, no. Oh, no. Americans are going to have a lot of trouble with this. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> There's a Norwegian saying I like about how to be a professional in a workplace setting. Do your duty, demand your right. Simple and to the point. Nice. There's a, man, these Norwegian tips are like so nice, serious, helpful. These tips are actually like on point. These are good. Wow. Um, even if it's cold outside, a cold bedroom makes you sleep better? Oh, I don't know about that. I, for, I don't know about that for me. <laughs> Have a wool layer closest to your skin. Oh, the wool should be on the skin. Okay. Huh. Strange how many of our facts are about cold weather and darkness, right? <laughs> they are. They are. But that is like one of the most different things I think Americans would be kind of culture shocked by. So it's good that a lot of the facts are about that. It is. Um, hmm. Norwegian behavior. Dugnad. Um, Claire Schall. A belief in one's own competence and abilities. Bid Dedderet. Small community mentality. Where rumors travel fast and you should be aware not to stand out from the norms. Huh. These are very Norwegian concepts. Um, okay. But still very cool. Hmm. What is it? Igl Icicles is a sign of a poorly insulated roof. These are very specific. Eating a Vic lunch sideways or any way, way without breaking it into individual long pieces is treason of the highest order. <laughs> Eating this sideways is treason. Is it the, yeah, it's the uh, Kit Kat chocolate snack from Norway. <laughs> Eating it sideways is high treason, punishable by prison. Yes, as it should be. Totally. Wow, <laughs> okay. I enjoyed this. I really liked this. These helpful tips about Norway. These were fantastic. Like, no one was even making too many jokes here. Some of them were funny, but most of these were very serious and, like, very genuinely helpful. If you're going to visit Norway, if you were going to gonna move to Norway, these are, like, great tips because these are just things, like, personally, as an American, I do not think about any of these things. You really have to be Norwegian to have it in your mind. So these were great. I really enjoyed this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway, Norwegian culture, things about Norway I've never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thank you for watching and see you next time.